Happy Hanukkah, Hofstra fans, and welcome inside the WB Mason Coaches Report right here on GoHofstra.com. I'm Mark Wiener, joined by the head wrestling coach, Dennis Papadatos. Coach, how's it going? Going good, but Merry Christmas for me. Okay. We'll give both holidays. Of That's fine. Hanukkah just started last and night. And everything so. else. Yeah, the first of eight days. The first of eight days, absolutely. And Coach, let's talk about your season so far. Two and four, you had a little bit of a break coming up, but just what are your overall thoughts on your season so far? Um, you know, when I first looked at the schedule and looked at it, and I knew what we had come back, I... You know, I went right in and said, wow, there's a very good chance we're going to be two and four because we've got four teams that are going to be very hard for us to overcome. With what we got going right now, you know, we're not going to have enough time to develop some of these guys yet. And those, all four of those teams are top 20 teams in the country. Lehigh's top 10, Missouri's top five. Missouri just beat Ohio State two days ago, uh, who was the preseason favorite to win the national title this year. Um, and NC State and... Um, and Rutgers are both top 20 teams now. So, we, you know, we, we knew we had a tall order. And, um, you know, uh, we got through it. Hopefully we got better from it. That's, you know, that's, that's the plan. So I'm in always in good spirits because I believe in the university. I believe in my alma mater. I believe in myself. I believe in the guys in the team. I believe in um, the lineage I come from. And I believe in my, uh, my support system and my bosses. So um, since they believe and I come from a product of a place that believes and wants to win, it's, it's all going to work out in the end. You have a little bit of a two-week break here. You're not going to wrestle again until the 21st mm -hmm. of December. So what have you been working on in that kind of time off? Wrestling and school. Um, we've been, uh, we had a good week last week. It was hard. It was, it, you know, it was, it was a good grind week last week. Uh, you know, the kind of the end of school, the last weeks of school. So even classes were a little scattered. Guys had some more free time. So we got some good training in. And right now it's finals week. And this week is a little more, a little more on their own, scheduled with coaches. And so that it almost feels like there's a freedom. It almost feels like there's no practice this week. But guys are getting one or two workouts in the day, it, which is convenient around their schedule of studying and going to classes. And it's a lot more individualized. And it's just a... Uh, it seems like a positive atmosphere right now, so it's um, it's good. We're getting our training in and really focusing on school because uh, we want to be great student athletes. You know, when we get out of this place. The schedule so far has been very spotty. You've only had six matches since November, really, and now it's going to start to really pick up. So, what do you expect from your team to now have to start playing a match every five days or so? Um, first, we don't play matches. This is wrestling. We <laughs> we um, uh, you know it's 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 good. It's that time. It's the NCAA tournament's a grind, so the, the, the idea of the season is to imitate the three-day NCAA tournament. You kind of want to break it off into that, you know, if, if you ideally make an appropriate season. So right now we're in the grind. We're in day two of the national tournament, which is always the hardest, longest grind, the most matches against good competition, especially if you're in the wrestlebacks, you're just grinding away day two. I've been in day two. It's a grind. So um, this part of the season is to imitate day two of the national tournament. And, and utilize what we learned in day one, utilize our confidence, and, and, and keep moving forward. And, and uh, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I think competition-wise, um, it's probably not as hard as some of the competition we had early. So it's going to be, it's still going to be a grind, though, because it's a bunch of evenly matched teams, and it's going to be, like you said, back to back to back, kind of going after it, making weight. The good news is no school for the next month and a half, so we can really focus on getting better and getting ready for the next semester and, and moving forward the things we need to move forward. This upcoming Sunday, you'll be at Madison Square Garden, obviously the world's most famous arena. Have, have your first match coaching uh, at Madison Square Garden. You, some of your players have played there before. What kind of atmosphere do you expect? Um, the same thing I told the radio show today. The atmosphere, I'm sure, is going to be great. People are excited about it. It's. I didn't even think about it or think like, wow, that's cool, I'm going to be coaching in Madison Square Garden. Uh, until like a lot of people like, hey, you know, my friends that have nothing to do with wrestling, they're like, well, what's next? I'm like, oh, we wrestle in Maryland and Bucknell and uh, Madison Square Garden. They're like, you wrestle at Madison Square Garden? I'm like, yeah. It's really not that big of a deal. We don't even talk about it. We don't make it a big deal because it's not. We're in there to do business. We're in there to go to work. We got two teams. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter to me if it's Madison Square Garden or, or our home or their home. So, um... But, it, you know, I'm sure it will be a, a, a cool memory for the guys. It will be a cool memory for me. But um, I haven't put much thought into it, and it really isn't making anything more of these matches other than we got matches, and they happen to be in New York City and Madison Square Garden. We wrestle two different teams. You mentioned them already first, the Maryland Terrapins. What do you see out of them? Uh, they're Big Ten. You know, Kerry McCoy is a Long Island guy, the head coach, and I know him a long time. Um, you know, 
you know, they got guys, and they got a newfound faith in being in the Big Ten, um, kind of like Rutgers does. So, um, you know, Big Ten is our strongest conference, you know, as a sport. So, um, I'm expecting them to come in swinging, and they want to beat us. And uh, the good news is we want to beat them. So, uh, you know, I, I expect a battle. Hopefully, not too much. I hope we, uh, hope we win the battles. But um, I do expect the battle, and we're ready to go. The conference matchup, EIWA against Bucknell, uh, what kind of matchup are you expecting there? Same thing, like you said, there's, there's a few matches in that dual meet that intrigue me. I want to see uh, where Mike Hughes stands. He's wrestling, I believe, the number one kid in our conference. And I actually want to see uh, you know, where we match up with the number one kid in our conference. And in some of the other matches, we got some uh, good guys. And they're EIWA foe, and they've been a good program. So... Um, you know, we, uh, it's going to be a good idea of, of where we are. If we need to keep working on some stuff, which I'm hoping we don't, and um, you know, to kind of put forward, you know, it's a, you know, a good effort. And the IWA is, as of right now, arguably the second toughest conference. So you're in the IWA phone, you got to win the IWA matches. Finally, coach, what's the key to going two and zero at Madison Square Garden? The same thing. I do not change what I believe. Blind faith and keeping a persistent effort. We keep moving forward. I firmly believe if you keep paying the price and if you keep doing things right, the results have to come and pay dividends. Um, so we don't get de derailed, we don't get distracted, we don't change that things aren't going exactly the way we want them. We keep doing the right things, which I know we are. Uh, I know my staff is doing the right things. I know the guys are doing the right things. So we're going to keep moving forward and um, keep developing. And as long as you keep forward the good effort and keep doing the right things, um, the results will come, you know, hopefully sooner than later and hopefully starting Sunday. The head coach of the Oscar Pride Wrestling Program, Dennis Papadatos, thanks so much for the time. Good luck this week. Uh, thank you. Appreciate it. Happy holidays to all. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Uh, I, I believe Kwanzaa, Festivus, I don't even know them all. Um, but enjoy your holiday uh, season. Well, we'll be back one more time before the Christmas holiday next week, Tuesday, right here on GoHopster.com.